facile qualcosa di facile vai che colore è? mio? Sì. non lo so come come dice in italiano it's grey grigio grigio davvero? davvero è grigia? si sì. è bellissima ma grigio e gialla? no solo grigio così come la puma guidare ancora cambio siamo pronti siamo pronti ci vediamo in macchina grazie So these three days of testing in Barcelona are really important. Um, now we're back into the European season, um, where you know the rest of the races except one are in European circuits. And I think three out of four tracks we've done so far have been street tracks. So now we're back to conventional track. And Barcelona is also a perfect test track. It's got you know every corner type, and uh, it's quite high degradation, so it's perfect to, to practice for the for the next rounds. team is also here, they will learn a lot as well. Um, we're always trying new things on the car, we're always working and consolidating what we know and, and learning new things. There is also some rain this weekend, it's actually raining right now, so that will also help us. Um, you know, I've only driven the car once in the wet and it's a bit of a, of a difference with the, this amount of power. So yeah, it's important as well to, to get some good mileage in the wet and uh, gain experience from both sides. <laughs> start of the year I feel like I'm a different driver. Um, there's so much stuff to take on board and so many different things compared to my last season in F3. Every time I'm in the car it's a learning experience still. Um, I'm still only four rounds into the to the season but now we're heading to tracks I know which hopefully will be uh, will be better for me. Summing up my F2 season so far, it's been a season of up and downs, um, more recently ups, but you know, I've had a bit of uh, inconsistency, especially at the start of the season. And the pace has always been pretty, pretty good, especially in qualifying, but it's just a case of, of putting it together. I started to do that since, uh, since Baku, so let's hopefully continue on that trend and start to, start to score some, uh, some positive points. The first race we can in a, new, in a new category is always tough, especially in Bahrain. It's a massive uh, degradation track, which, uh, which of course makes life a bit more difficult. We struggled a bit, um, you know, I wasn't really adapted correctly and we struggled also a bit as a team across that weekend. But, um, you know, since then we set a baseline and, and now we're just improving every race. So let's, uh, let's keep that up. Is it before session or after session? Before. Like before. before? Yeah, before. Yeah. So really? You know, so, you do your, so you do your warm up and then you get back down to 18 degrees. Oh, I always thought it was cold. after. That's annoying. <laughs> I was I was gonna use it to cool down, like you know, That's big, nice and sweaty yeah. after FP. Cool down a bit. Apparently it's before. Yep. The secret to getting stronger each race weekend, I think, is to analyze the bad results, but even more the good results. Um, so we spend a lot of time after Baku analyzing why it went well, um, because obviously it's, it's just as important. Um, 
to analyze the bad ones and the good ones. I am away from home quite a lot. Um, so far this year, I haven't really been to the UK very much. Um, we're super busy in Maranello, but also with the races. Um, this year it's 14 events, so it's pretty, pretty full on, but I like it that way, it's, uh, it's nice. Guys, it's my dog. Ruby! <laughs> Ruby! <laughs> Ruby, do you want a biscuit? <laughs> oh, I love you, Ruby. <laughs> I tried to come home as much as possible this weekend. I'm going to, to try and catch up with everyone in, in two days, but um, yeah, it's difficult. I try and uh, keep up with my family on, on WhatsApp and everything, uh, do my best, but obviously it's not easy. And uh, the time that I do spend at home, I, I make the most of it. So yeah, the next three races are back to back. We've got a triple header. Imola is always a, an amazing track to drive. I, I always have fun there and enjoy it. I'm looking forward to that race weekend. I think maybe the weather could be a bit up and down like it always is. After that, we have Monaco. Uh, nothing else to say. I, I'm so excited to get going around that. Such an iconic venue. I, I'm really beyond excited. And then we're heading back here to Barcelona. Of course, it's really useful to have the test in Barcelona. And I think I'll be much more prepared than, uh, than I would have been. So yeah, that's, uh, that's really useful. I think it's going to be a lot hotter than it is right now. Uh, and hopefully no rain. But um, yeah, it's still a uh, very useful three days here to prepare us for the race weekend. My singing voice is not on point today, but let me... I mean the necessities of mother's nature. I don't know the lyrics, but... Uh, it's me. Wherever I wander, wherever I roam. <laughs> Singing's not my thing, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much.